so I don't know if you've heard about commonplace books, but if you read and you want to remember uh, the things you read in like a deep subconscious level and actually like, act out what's what's said, does that make sense? Then I would highly recommend commonplace books. I'll show you mine. Basically, what you do um, when you're reading um, different books, you go ahead and have a pencil or pen or something, and you just capture, underline, or somehow mark this is important to me. Like this stands out as either true or useful to remember, or just like a, a just a good quote. I just like, huh, that means a lot to me. So you go ahead and you, over time, and throughout history, lots of people um, have used these. So Marcus, Marcus Aurelius, um, his meditations book, a lot of people think it's basically his version of a journal or a commonplace book. Um, Thomas Jefferson, like so many impactful, amazing people have used these as a tool to um, strengthen their their knowledge just about life. Um, so mine is just literally just like little note cards, um, index cards, I guess. Um, and I will look up quotes for famous people online. Um, you know, whoever strikes your fancy. I mean, I look up Gandhi. I look up past presidents. I look up um, historical figures, um, inventors, people who throughout history sort of stood out as, um, you know, like on another level of understanding of whatever they they were good at, whatever they were into. Um, so I've got all these cards and what you do with them there's stacks of them and these are all quotes from books I've read um, things I've read online and it can be anything you know if it's a nice say you like baking like say it's a nice recipe I mean you can put anything you want in here that's why it's called a commonplace book because you, you just put anything in there it's just it's the name for it um, here's just a random quote that I found important and think is important as someone interested in creating businesses and being an entrepreneur um, do you know who Sam Walton is he's the founder of Walmart and this is a, just a great quote um, to get in the mindset of someone who's going to honor and please your customers and there's here it is there's only one boss the customer I love working for the boss that's Sam Walton and I saw that on like a customer service email. I was trying to return something um, for Walmart. Or anyways, I got that in an email and it just struck me. I was like, wow, that's a really great mindset. If I'm going to business, I want to serve my customers and they are the boss. And if you keep that mindset, like you can't really fail because you're serving your customers. And that's just a great way to go about it. Another one right here. <laughs> I remember seeing this on a sweatshirt. I think I was in Richmond International, like the airport. Um, this one's super simple, but it was on a shirt and it just caught my eye. So I, I jotted it down on my phone and I later wrote it out. Um, it says, no, grow, go. Now it seems kind of silly to put and write down, but if you think about it, that's really what life is. Like you gotta know where you're going. You gotta know what you're gonna do. Then you gotta grow to be able to do it. And then you gotta go just do it. So, hey, I mean, whatever you that catches your eye or whatever sticks in your head is important or worth remembering. So what you do um, once you write these out is you regularly uh, read over these books, uh, these quotes out loud. And you take time just pondering them, thinking about them, even visualizing, you know, how you would go about implementing some of these uh, more practical ones. Um, and yeah, over time, you just, it sort of becomes ingrained in your, your brain, your subconscious. Like I've, I've pull, been able to just in conversations randomly, um, been able to say, Hey, that, that reminds me of this quote, or this, this quote goes perfectly what we're talking about. And I'll just pull out either the gist of a quote or even a quote verbatim. Um, because I've, I've again and again, repetitively, um, sort of put this into my brain and it's it really does more than any other sort of technique I've done to like memorize and, and learn um, it's a super effective technique if that's what you want is to have the information the knowledge that you find important you know
know, all these people from history just giving out their advice um, to future generations, why not take it? Um, and it's a great way to just lock it in your brain and hopefully live a better, um, happier life. So yeah, commonplace books. I will share a few links um, in the description about where I've learned about them, who I've learned them from. Um, yeah, just great resources about them. Um, so yeah, Ooh, if you can get it, I would highly recommend searching for the uh, commonplace book app. I don't know if it's available anymore, but I've had it on my phone and it's been so nice because you don't always have just a collection of cards to just jot down something. Pretty, most people are going to have their phone on them. So if something catches your eye, you can just jot it down real quick. Or even if it's online or in a PDF book or whatever, you can copy and paste it into this app. And then that's just my giant sort of like collection that I then sort through um, and use to get the, the final uh, quotes I'm writing down. So the Commonplace Book app, <laughs> if you can get something like that, it's just basically a journal sort of app. Um, so yeah, how often do I read these? I could do a lot more. Um, how often do I write them? I've been through phases of like writing a whole lot in like a day. I'm talking like doing it for an hour or two. It just gets super relaxing and it makes me feel like I'm progressing in life just by like writing down these um, very helpful quotes. Um, sometimes I'll do like one, it's one time a day. I try to get into a rhythm of just reading writing, um, journaling stuff like daily. And when I'm in that rhythm, I'll include commonplace books. I'll do one or two um, cards a day. Um, yeah, and that's just how it grows over time. I mean, but then there are also cases where, you know, I get busy or preoccupied and like I, I don't do it for a while. So that's just like a personal growth thing where I, I want to do it more and I just need to just do it really and make time for it because we all have 24 hours in a day. Bill Gates has 24 hours in a day. Elon Musk has 24 hours in a day. Um, anyone you look at, like we're all the same, but how do people get further ahead um, with the same amount of time? Are they superhuman? Are they supernatural? No, there are clues to how people have gotten to where they are. There are clues that successful people do. There, there are patterns to their thinking. There are patterns to their actions. Um, so yeah, I think, I think there's a lot to learn from people from history and even people alive today that we can, we can learn from and become better people ourselves. So just taking a little bit of effort into something like a commonplace book, um, and making it a, just a part of your, your sort of mental, um, health <laughs> care, you know, like mental, just keeping, you know, it's good to grow, you know, all the time. It's good to grow and to not be stagnant it's it's good to yeah just just become a better bigger smarter happier person and i think this has definitely been a a great resource a great tool uh, for me to do that so i wanted to share it commonplace commonplace books i'll share some resources in the description